The Yorkshire Terrier has a very athletic build and this dog breed is very agile. Although the Yorkie is a toy breed, only weighing a maximum of 7 pounds 3.17 kilograms per AKC standards, this dog does require regular exercise to maintain good health. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. How much to walk a Yorkie? A Yorkshire Terrier should be taken for a walk at least one time per day. Taking two walks per day is best with one in the morning and one in the early evening. It does not matter at what time during the day an owner chooses to do this, however it is best if the walks are taken at the same time each day. Yorkies, and just about all dog breeds for that matter, are happy and better behaved when they have a daily schedule. A Yorkie will soon catch on and know exactly when it is time to go for their walk. Walking should be moderate and at a fairly brisk pace. Do keep in mind that what is a brisk pace to you is a running pace for a little Yorkie. The walk should be at a pace where the dog is moving along steadily but not out of breath. You will want to walk your Yorkie puppy for a 15 to 20 minute interval. Adults over the age of 2 years will do good with a 20 to 25 minute session. If you do not have time in your schedule for this, it is recommended to do at least one walk of this timer interval and then other walk of the day either the first or second can be shorter. Walking before being left home alone will help a dog release some energy and this may help him stay calm a bit longer than he otherwise would. Walking your Yorkie in the evening can help him sleep better at night. However, any moderate to brisk activity close to bedtime can actually keep a dog awake. For this reason, have your, after dinner walk, be at least two hours before bed. Cardio exercise. This should be short and a bit more intense. This should be provided at least one time per week, two times is optimal. You can choose from a variety of different ways to achieve this. Throwing a ball to your dog and having them run after it is always fun for a dog. This type of play is also an excellent opportunity to teach your Yorkie some command words, such as, get, and, return. Yorkies love to simply run around. If taken to a park or open field, this breed will enjoy running free. Do, however, always keep your dog supervised and be sure that if you ever take your Yorkie off of their leash or harness that it is very safe to do so. Some ways to provide fun exercise. Agility. You do not need to enter your Yorkie into a dog show event to enjoy the benefits of teaching your dog some agility moves. Do be wary of heights when your pup is young however you and your dog can have great fun with a homemade obstacle course. You can teach your dog to jump through a hoop just hold up a hula hoop at an appropriate height or guide your Yorkie to maneuver around obstacles or weave back and forth between them. Frisbee. Most of us have seen professional dog disc events those events when usually large breed dogs leap high into the air, catching a frisbee with ease. Your Yorkie wants to join into the fun too. You may wish to purchase a, baby, frisbee. Teaching your Yorkie to run after it, time it just right and then catch it mid-air can be a lot of fun for both of you and certainly a way to get their exercise. Note to be sure to never, rip, the frisbee out of your dog's mouth. You can train your Yorkie to drop it on command. When first training for this, hold a small treat and offer a trade. Use the command word of, drop, or, give, and once your Yorkie offers it to you, reward him with a small treat and lots of praise. Hide and seek with treats. Command your dog to sit and have your dog watch you, hide, treats all over the home. The treats should be very small and tucked into many different areas under a cushion, behind a shoe, on the first landing of the stairs, etc. Once you give the command word of, go, or, find, your Yorkie can then run around the home, gathering up the treats. Healing. When first training your Yorkie to, heal, and walk nicely beside you, it is highly recommended to use a well-fitting harness for small toy breeds. Many owners complain of, the dog walking them. This does not need to be the case. By taking time to make sure that your Yorkie understands the meaning of, heal, and with consistent training, you can enjoy nice walks where your dog actually strides right to the side of you. When you set out for your walk, 
have your Yorkie to your left side and keep the leash short with only enough length for him to be by your side and not able to walk ahead. Be sure to give the command word of, heel, as you begin to walk. If at any time your dog tries to walk in a different direction, do not stop but continue walking where you want to, at a very slow pace. If your Yorkie stops, again do not stop, but continue walking at a slow pace. At any time when your Yorkie is striding nicely beside you, say the command word of, heel, to reaffirm that your puppy is indeed healing and offer words of praise. With the tone of your voice, you must convey that he or she is doing something truly great. If for some reason you choose to not use a harness, if your dog walks or runs ahead of you, do not stop and jerk on the leash. That type of training is not for toy breed dogs. If your Yorkie gets ahead of you at all, steadily slow down. If your Yorkie still tries to get ahead of you, slow to a stop and then reverse directions. This shows your dog that any time he tries to run ahead, all he will find is that he will not reach his target and will instead have to go in the opposite direction. Once your dog walks nicely beside you, reward him by reversing again in the original direction. When your walk is complete, if your Yorkie has correctly healed the majority of the time, give a wonderful treat at the end of the walk. Do not give any treats if your dog was all over the map. With a bit of time, both of you will greatly look forward to walks together. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.